Hi, Mike here. In last week's video, I showed you how to generate sequential ID numbers automatically when a new row was added at the bottom of a table. I was then contacted by Greg during the week who said, thanks for the video. I've been using sequence numbers for years for various spreadsheets. However, I routinely add the newest entry as the top row of the table. I like this since I don't have to scroll down to find the most recent item. Up to now, I've been inserting a row and copying the formula up from the last used row. And Greg wanted to know if there was a way to accomplish this similar to what I did in the video. Well, Greg, first of all, thanks for the mail. And secondly, you're in luck. I found a way. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. I'm going to use the same file as last week, a support call tracker. The data is in a table. And if I insert a blank row at the top, as soon as I enter a client name, it creates a new ticket number. But you can see that it's the next sequential ticket number at the top and the existing ticket numbers are in descending order. So how did I do it? Well, let me jump over to the sheet called demo. Here, the table is called support calls. And at the moment, it's two rows, rows three and four. But of course, as I add more rows, it will automatically grow. I've entered a formula into A4. Let me talk you through it. The TET dash at the beginning, this is fixed text because I want every ticket ID to start with TET dash, TET being my abbreviation for the Excel trainer. I want to combine that with the sequential number. The ampersand is used to combine multiple items together. The sequential number is generated with rows support calls minus row plus four. This takes the number of rows in the table called support calls, which right now is one, subtracts the number of the current row, which is four, and that gives us minus three, and then adds four, and that gives us one. The plus four is because the first row of data is on row four of the table. If I insert a row at row two, which pushes everything down, now what we've got is we've got TET zero. So what I'll need to do is edit the formula and do plus five at the end. And that gives us the one again. So here I've added a few more records and you can see, for example, if we look at row six, the number of rows in the table is 12. The current row is six. 12 minus 6 is 6, plus 5 is 11. For consistency and neatness, I want every ticket ID to have five digits. So I'll amend the formula. I'll take the whole of that part of the formula and wrap it inside a text function. The first parameter of the text function is the formula, and that's already in there. So I'll put a comma. And then in double quotes, I'll put five zeros, close the brackets and enter. And because that's a table, it ripples down. What that does is it converts the number generated by the formula into text and displays as many zeros at the beginning as are needed to display five characters in total. What I'm going to do now is add another record. So I'll insert a row at the top. And you can see what's happened here is that it has put the number in, but it's also taken the formatting from the header row. So let me just undo that. What I'm going to do to resolve that problem is select the cells that make up the header row and clear the color formatting, set it to no fill. And then I'm not going to worry about the fact that it's hidden it's because it's now white text on a white background but if i go up to the table tab and i choose a style that has the green background for example that one there that gives me the color style that i want and it's a table but now if i insert a blank row at the top it doesn't 
copy the formatting from the header row because the header row is getting its formatting from the table style and not being styled manually. So if I just put another client name in there, I'll just put myself in there. And there we go. That's it. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.